In this video, we will talk about TurboRepo. TurboRepo is a monorepo solution provided by Vercel. Now, what really monorepo is? Monorepo is collection of different applications and packages into one single big repository. These packages are shared between the applications and even different packages so that you can have your utility functions and you can simply import all of these shared packages into any of your packages or applications. And that's a very neat feature. And that's just one feature of monorepos. And what else can you do? In one command, you can start development mode for all of your different packages and apps. That includes your backend, your front end, which might be a Next.js application or even a React Native application. And you can even have build commands that step-by-step -step builds all of your packages and apps one by one and gives you the specific build outputs which you can then deploy to a hosting provider like Vercel or any other provider you would like to. I think Monorepo is pretty good and it provides you a lot of flexibility in the cases of large scale applications. So I think it's better to make video on it. So yeah, here we are and let's get started with exploring Monorepo. So we will start with the documentation. Now this website is called turbo.build. If you go here, uh, you can see the URL which is called as turbo.build. And they have two things, uh, which is Turbo Repo, which we are going to look at in this video, and Turbo Pack, which is a Rust powered successor to Webpack, which we are not going to look at this video. But if you want me to look at this, leave that in the comments below and I'll make sure to do that. By the way, the borders are shining so good. I want to recreate this. Anyways, let's click on Turbo Repo and learn more. Now it says the build system that makes chip happen. And you can see a lot of different things here. So why Turbo Repo? These are all these features. Elemental build. Building once is painful enough. Turbo Repo will remember what you have built and skip the stuff which is already been completed. So it's a pretty convenient feature where if one package is already built and if you run the build command, it won't build it again if there are no changes made to that package. And there are a lot of different things like parallel execution. I like this one. Execute builds using every core at maximum parallelism without wasting idle CPUs. So this is basically made in Rust. So I think that's why it is possible. I think it is built with Rust. I'm not really sure. Oh yeah. So yeah, let's click on get started and see what it has to offer. Now it says Turbo Repo Quick Start. This is documentation. And Turbo Repo is an intelligent build system optimized for JavaScript and TypeScript code bases. Your code bases tasks like lint, build, test don't run as fast as they could. Turbo use Turbo Repo uses caching to turbocharge your local setup and speed up your CI. And yeah, uh, now we can see a lot of different things here. All of those features and stuff is here and examples. But what we are looking at here is we want to try to create a new monorepo. So let's click that. And uh, yeah, we have all the commands. If you're using NPM, you can use this. I'm going to use PNPM. So to create a new tur new turbo repo, create our create turbo repo NPM package. I'm just going to copy this command and paste it in our terminal. Now we should have a configuration wizard right here. So let's wait for it. Where would you like to create your turbo repo? I'm going to say I want to create it at turbo repo YT. Now it asks which package manager do you want to use? Even though we use PNPM, uh, it still asks you that. I think it's good. It's just asking you. We're just going to use PNPM workspaces. Let's just wait for it to install all the dependencies. All right, the setup is complete. Now you can see that there is a new turbo repo with two apps which is the documentation and the web application and packages. We have these three packages, which comes pre-installed with the monorepo. So of course, packages are something which is not your apps, might be having some utility functions that you might want to share between your apps and packages. So uh, yeah, that's that. And apps is the actual apps. If you have any server or if you have any Next.js application, any Vite application that goes in here. So yeah. And uh, these are the commands. You can use this to build all apps and packages, develop all apps and packages in BNPM run dev. And you can simply use this command to lint all your apps and packages. And then there is remote caching. We are not going to look at that in this video. We are just going to use the local caching. So yeah, let's go into Turbo Repo YT. And now let's open Visual Studio code here and let's see what we are looking at. Let's wait. Perfect. Let's get this to uh, another screen because we might need to look at our browser. Okay. So let's look at the structure first. So we have an apps folder, which has docs and webs web. So all both of these are next JS application, next JS 14 applications, which use app router. So if you don't want these, you can always delete this folder and create your own new application within the apps folder. Then we have the packages folder, which contains all the three packages. Um, UI has been used 
with both of these so that's why it's here but if you don't want it you can obviously delete it and then we all basically these are all example packages so you don't necessarily need to have those in a production code base but yeah and uh, then you have a turbo.json file which has all of these commands it's so like for build it outputs everything and um, yeah i think these are pretty cool configurations if you want you can always check documentation and see what different things you can configure here but we're only going to touch the surface right now so let's go to package.json and these are all the four commands so you can have turbo dot you can have a pnpm run build which can build every single package dev for development and delint for linting now yeah let's pin this up now let's go to our terminal and let's to type pnpm dev now let's see what happens first of all it says that uh, packages in scope all of these packages are being used including docs and web running dev in five packages so yeah so what happens is that this runs the dev script in all of these packages so if you go into the web for example and if you go into package.json there is this dev package so whatever things you need to run inside dev all of these needs to have a dev script for turbo report to execute further we have two next.js applications running here one is on 300 3000 and one is on 3001 how do we know which packages or which app is using it we have this we have web web is running on 3000 and docs is running on 3001 now we can simply go into our browser and open up localhost 3000 it's a bit slow yeah and now we can also use localhost 3001 yeah now this is the docs if we go back to 3000 it says it's web and yeah it's working now the thing with this click me button is that it's using the ui package that's already being created inside the monorepo if we click this this is basically a button which has been exported from that package but we are not going to deal with that we are going to create our own package and we are going to import that function inside our application and see how to use it because it's a very interesting concept because normally what happens when you are creating packages is you have a bundler which bundles all of your typescript into javascript and it's exported and then you have access to those inside your app but in turbo repo you do not need a bundler you can simply ask next.js to bundle these packages for you which are already in your monorepo but of course if you are not using next.js you can always have that bundler set up for you and if you want tutorial for creating a normal package feel free to drop the comments and i will make sure to make that tutorial all right so let's create a new package so in packages folder we can create a new folder i'm going to call the package called as shared utils and in shared utils, we need to initialize a new node project. So let's go into a terminal inside of VS Code and let's go to packages and we are going to go shared utils and I'm going to type pnpm in it. Perfect, now package.json file is created. Now we want to install TypeScript. So pnpm install TypeScript. Perfect, and we also need to do npx tsc in it to create a tsconfig.json file. Perfect. And now we can start working with it. Now what we can do is we can go into um, the shared utils and create a new file. I'm going to call it index.ts. You can call it whatever insert. You can, you can even create folders inside this. And now I want to create a simple utility function, uh, export function add. This is going to be a very simple function. This typically has functions that you can you want to use like for example, both on back end or front end or in between your documentations or web application. This is typically for things like um, if you have some kind of weird string encoding, which is really not public, but if you still want to use it between both of your application, you might want to have utility functions for that, which you can put it inside of shared so that you don't need to add these function into both of your applications. And that's one of those features of monorepo. And for here, I'm going to say that we are going to have A and B, which are both going to be numbers. So A is a number, B is a number, and now you can simply return a plus b i know this is a very simple function but just for the sake of tutorial i'm doing this because if if we go into the depths this can be a lot more and uh, i'm planning to create an e-commerce website just fully using turbo repo so if you want that make sure you leave that in the comment and like the video and yeah so if you would want a detailed tutorial on turbo repo that would be the best thing you want to watch so yeah now we have this file now we need to do something 
inside package json you want to have this as main index.ts instead of index.js and you need to have a types and you need to pass in index.ts typically if you wanted different types uh, if you configure your own types you need to create a new file or index.d.ts but if even if you pass like index.ts which is the entry point of a package it's still fine it still works now it's now this is the only step for turbo repo like if you were not using turbo repo and if you're not using next year to try and spile these packages you could you need to have a bundler which does all of these and you need to have a build script so whenever there is a build command run against of turbo repo the build command here will also be executed and the build will be generated so yeah now yeah this should most probably work so if we save this and if we go into a web and if we go to package.json we need to add our new package here so the package if we go back to a package.json here the name is shared utils so we need to copy the name actually and we need to paste it here shared utils and it should be from the workspace this mentions that this package is a part of the workspace and you don't need to do any additional configuration for it to understand from where it is because turbo repo already does that for you you just mention this and it will understand that it is from the workspace now this varies from package manager to package manager I am using PNPM, so this is that way. If you choose another package manager during your setup, this might have a different uh, wording here, but you might want to follow your own package managers thing. So yeah, now if you save this, we need to, we can go back to our app folder here and we can go to page.tsx and we can import the function now. So we can say import, we can say from at re, uh, no, not, it's shared utils right here. And yeah, now that's the error which I expected cannot find module shared utils or corresponding type declare. Now, there can be various reasons for this. Like, first of all, you might not have configured your shared utils. From what I know, I think we have configured this properly. Now, the second thing is that whenever you add a new packages, it's always a good practice to do PNPM install high level, like in your turbo level, turbo repo level. So we're just going to use PNPM install here and it's done. Now we can say PNPM dev again. Now we can go back uh hold on is it yeah you can go back and yeah now the error is gone now we can even import the function you can see the autocomplete is already suggesting as the add function now we can use this to create a new button here so let's go ahead and create a new button button on click instead i wanted to have this in an alert so yeah but what the thing here is that this is a server component and we are passing a function here so it won't work so we need to pass in uh, the use client directive. If you're using something like weed, you might you don't have to do this at all. But uh, using Next.js in Turbo Repo makes things simpler. But it's really not necessary to use. It. Okay, so I am still expecting an error because we are yet to do one more thing. But I want to show you the error which will occur. So if we refresh, I'm pretty sure the error should be here anytime soon. Oh, all right. Okay, okay. The error is not here. So the thing here is that in next.config.js, you are supposed to transpile that package here. So you need to have shared utils here, but I don't know why it didn't give any error, maybe because the uh, ne newer Next.js versions already fix it. I will try to bring this up to the Next.js teams and I will try to fix the documentation uh, because I have gotten that with documentation. So if we go to create package turbo repo, you will have an internal packages link and then this had the step. So if you go here somewhere, it says that you may need to, you may need an appropriate loader to handle this file type. Currently no loaders are configured to process this file. I think it's a webpack specific error, but um, since they are using their own Rust thing, I think that this is not happening. But um, yeah, I will try to bring this up and I will try to clarify it later and put it in the comments below what the thing was. But for now, we are not seeing that error. So in localhost 3000, if we go here and if we click add, we have the result three and it's being adding using the function which we created inside our shared package, shared utils package. So that's how you create packages inside of Turbo Repo. Similarly, you can create your own new Next.js applications here. So I want to create one quickly so we can simply go back. Uh, we can go back again. We can go to apps and we can say PNPX, create next app. And we're going to call it um, admin panel i guess we are not going to work on it of course but let's just do it yes we are just going to use all the default settings because we just want to see how to create an app inside a turbo repo so yeah it's going to download a lot of things i think there was an update recently but yeah perfect now i think it should be working but we need to make sure that it's running so let's do pnpm dev 
yep says that admin panel 3000 is using 3002 you can always configure these ports inside of the package dot json like for in the docs we have the package dot json we have the port 3001 so we will copy this and paste it inside of uh, not the web but in admin panel package dot json and we will paste it paste it here and we will use 3002 so that we now have a default port it runs on it does not fall back so in case you one of your in case this one runs before it will occupy the 3001 and some other app will have to use 3002 so we pre-configured all the ports for each of the apps perfect now if we go to localhost 3002 our app should be working let me wait yeah this is this is running way too slow yeah now our next JS application is created a blank next JS application so yeah that's how you create new packages add new apps inside of turbo repo so yeah that's it for this video i hope you found value in this video make sure you click the like button hit the subscribe button and leave some comment below what did you found the most valuable in this video make sure you leave that in the comments also what do you think about turbo repo would you like to use it in your next large scale application Make sure you leave that in the comments below. I would really like to know about it. If you have any suggestions, make sure you also leave that in the comments below because recently I'm trying to look at different large builds I can create on this channel. So I would really appreciate if there is some kind of tutorial you want to see and you leave that in the comments below. On this channel, I just want to provide a lot of value to all of you guys. So yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.